There's this ancient book that's had ripple effects across the world. It's changed the world more than any other book, any other piece of literature in human history. And this book was written across three different continents by over 40 people and in three different languages over a period of about 1500 years. And it's become the most read and published and translated and sold book ever. But it's also been the most scrutinized and stolen and burned book in human history as well. And there's been over 5 billion copies of this book, and I am blessed enough to own several copies. If you're watching this, chances are you probably have one or more copies of this book as well. This book that's had such an immense impact on the world is the Bible. And about a year ago, I started getting really curious about the whole Bible, getting to read the whole Bible for myself to understand the meta narrative. Because the Bible is a lot of things. You've probably heard the Bible being described as a book for right living, a book about morals, a book about uh, guiding people. It's like a compass. It's God's love letter to us. You've probably heard things like that, but it's even more than that. It's, it's really a story. There is a overarching story, the meta narrative of it that goes from start to finish that connects these 40 plus authors and it all tells one beautiful story. So about a year ago, I started getting really curious about wanting to experience it for myself in that big picture sense. So I wanted to take about three months to go through the whole Bible front to back, cover to cover, and then take notes after every single chapter to see what was this chapter about? What was that chapter about? And then by the end of those three months, I would have not only read through the whole Bible, I would also have notes on every chapter of the most important book in human history. I didn't do it a year ago though, but this idea kind of stayed with me. And, and in the last couple of months, I've been thinking about it some more but also been thinking about, well, if I'm going to do this for myself, because I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to experience this meta narrative for myself. What if I could do it in a way that also blesses other people? And so that's why I started thinking about live streaming. So I'll be live streaming my reading through the Bible starting on Wednesday. It's going to be a period of 102 days because I will be taking Sundays off. So I'll be reading Monday to Saturday. And my hope in live streaming is really just that if anyone wants to benefit from this, if anyone wants to know God's word more, to tune in from time to time and just hear God's word, or it be something that helps you as you can listen to as you're getting ready in the morning, driving to work, whatever, or if it's something that you really want to sit down with me on the live stream and take notes as well as you're going along, then that would be amazing. I'm really doing this to help myself know God's word more and the live streaming so that you can know God's word more as well. It's such an important book and it's so crucial that we would understand it well and deeply. And part of that depth can even come from taking a big picture look at it. So that's why I've made a few documents. I've made one document for my own notes as I read through on the live stream, I'll also take a few bullet point notes, like one to five notes from each chapter. And I've also made a copy of it. That's a collaborative Google Doc. And so when you open that link, then you can add your own notes. And I hope that after some chapters that you'll see some things that pop out, some things that, that are significant, and you'll add them. And this will be a very enriching collaborative experience as we all get to know God's word better together. And I really hope to see your notes and, and things that you're seeing in God's word as you're going through it as well. So I am really, really excited about this because I really do want to know God's word so much more. <laughs> and as excited as I am, this is also going to be a challenge for me in a few ways. First of all, it's a lot of reading and reading out loud at that, which I'm not super used to doing, but hopefully it goes well. Second of all, I love to sleep during the morning. And I hate to sleep at night. I am the definition of a night owl. So getting up early in the morning is going to be challenging, but that's the only time that this would work. 
in a consistent way. So I'll be reading from 7 a.m. till 8, 8.30 a.m. Monday to Friday. Saturdays are going to be a little bit different. Those are going to be 10 a.m. to noon so that I can hopefully at times be reading with a, with a friend joining me alongside. I'll be following this plan. The plan is available if you want to see it. It's all, all the links for everything are below. The reading schedule, the plan, the my notes, the collaborative notes. It's all down in the description. All that to say, this is going to be an exciting journey. And I really, really hope you'll grab your Bible or you'll in some other way be able to listen and join me in this. And I really pray that this will be a really wonderful time of growing in love for God, growing in love and appreciation for his word and admiration for the wonderful, amazing Lord that we serve. Thank you. Have a blessed day. See you on Wednesday.